the copyrights of Why Do Fools Fall in Love, a song by Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers, are worth millions. Amira Lyman, Frankie's widow, claims that she should inherit Frankie's royalties. All she has to do is prove that her marriage is valid. Music producer Morris Levy is the current beneficiary, and he's prepared to fight tooth and nail to keep the copyrights. Chuck Rubin and Amira Lyman bring in the big guns. They hire lawyer Ira Greenberg to lead the case against Morris Levy and his record company. Greenberg estimates the royalties to Why Do Fools Fall in Love are in the millions. The song was popular again. It would throw off royalties in, in five figures a year, maybe sometimes six figures a year. Uh, but as a, a total package, it was worth, and for the past, probably in the nature of seven figures. And of course, it had a life going into the future as well. Our kept saying, hey, don't worry about it. We got a good case here. So we take the case to court, say, don't worry. You, you got all the legal rights and everything on your side, so don't worry about it. But as the trial is about to commence, Morris Levy makes a shocking announcement. Levy tells the court that Amira is not Frankie's legitimate widow. Mr. Levy was looking for someone who might derail Amira's claim. And then these two other women came in claiming to be widows. Elizabeth Waters and Zola Taylor both testified that they had been married to Frankie Lyman. And extraordinarily, neither had divorced him. Frankie appears to have been married to three women simultaneously. If this proves to be true, Amira's marriage to Frankie will be invalid, and so will her claims to Frankie's royalties.